And a woman is dead tonight after what police are calling a targeted home robbery in the Southwest Valley. Uh, it was not too far from Jones and Robindale. Two nearby schools went on lockdown because of it. Sasha Loftus spoke with police and people who live in that area. She joins us now live with the latest. Denise, it's been quite a while since it ha this happened this afternoon. You can see behind me there still are police on scene as they continue to investigate this situation. They tell us this targeted robbery led to a shootout and a car chase in what many are calling a normally quiet neighborhood. It's a sad and it's scary. John Baxter says he's scared and pretty shocked to see someone shot and killed in his Southwest Valley neighborhood. My wife had called me earlier saying that there was cops galore around this neighborhood. His son's school was one of two campuses put on lockdown as flashing lights and crime scene tape took over his street Friday. Officers say a woman is dead after a robbery that led to a shootout in her home. I, I do want to stress that this is not a random uh, robbery. Lieutenant Ray Spencer with Metro Police tells us the three men involved were leaving after it happened when the woman's boyfriend was coming home from the store. He chased them, ramming their car into a wall. The suspects then dumped it and took off. It's terrifying to picture this right in your backyard. But Lieutenant Spencer says those in the area should know this was targeted and wouldn't have happened just anywhere. There's some security in that aspect. It's not like someone just happened to show up at this house. Regardless, Baxter isn't happy to see this kind of thing so close. And he's doing everything he can to make sure his family is safe. Just make sure all my doors and windows are locked, you know. Now, police say there was a third person living in the home. She was home when the shooting happened, but is okay. Now, all three suspects, according to police involved here, are still on the run tonight. If you have any information, you are asked to call Crime Stoppers, and of course, you can remain anonymous. Reporting live tonight, Sasha Loftus, live, local, now.